Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a video of how to hook up a laptop to a Los Monday G11 and give commands with Stellarium to the telescope mount. I have a Gemini 2 system. which I love and uh, I'm going to show you how, how to hook this up let's go over a couple items that you have to pick first I've got a uh, extra long 14 foot USB cable that goes to my computer and I also have I don't know if you can see this in the light I have a 200 millimeter Canon FD lens hooked to a ZWO 120MC camera. I also bought the extra long cable that I need so everything's out of the way that goes over to my laptop. The first USB cable comes over to your laptop and plugs into my USB port. The other cable comes from my camera and plugs into my laptop. They're both high-speed USB cables. Uh, can't remember which one is plugged into which. Okay, the uh, the high speed going into the uh, medium speed USB is coming from my Gemini, Gemini 2 mount. My high speed cable is going to my camera, which I need for looping. We'll cover that later. Alright, now, I've already aligned the Gemini 2 to Denyeb in Cygnus. Let's see if we can see this in the scope. Oh, come on. Let's see if we can get that in the scope. Let me make, let me make sure I'm still in there. Yeah. Yeah, Denyeb. smack in the middle. I don't know if this camera is going to be able to pick it up. Let's see if I can steady this thing. Uh, I'll take my word for it. Denyev is in the middle. We can we can show that in a bit. Okay now that I've got my uh, Gemini 2 I just did a one star alignment on my telescope, which is a 1969 Cave Astrola. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring up some programs here on the computer. All right. We're going to go to Stellarium. take a minute okay Stellarium's coming up on my laptop takes a minute to load okay so we're gonna go ahead and find Denyeb which is like in the eastern and there's Denyeb so we're going to click on that
Okay, there's Danya. I'm going to go to the configuration window, click on that. Maybe for some reason, my. There we go. Configuration window. We're going to go up to plugins. We're going to scroll down to telescope control. Click on that. Load it, start up. Configure. Going to bring up another window and we're going to go ahead and tell it to start. Okay, it's connected. Let's close these windows. And for this night's purpose, oops, we're going to go to this window I'm going to click on DSOs labels labels and markers close that window okay now what you're going to see here is now that I've got Denya aligned with my Los Mundi 2 Gemini well, Los Mundi G11 Gemini 2 system a second uh, cross has appeared on Denya that means that everything is connected between my Gemini 2 and my laptop computer Okay, we're going to go ahead and swing over to the southern horizon because tonight's target is going to be the Eagle Nebula. Click on the Eagle Nebula. Alright, and then you're going to hit Control 1. Control 1. And you can see that my telescope is slewing to that direction. Okay. Now I've got to move my observatory dome over to that area. So give me a minute. I'm going to shut this off for just a second. Okay. I've uh, verified with the lens um, that I'm on the Eagle Nebula. And I've installed my camera into the telescope, which is a uh, Canon 60DA. And I've got a IR shutter activator installed on it, so I don't have to touch the telescope whatsoever while I'm taking this picture. I've got a timer set up because I don't have one of them special releases that allows me to time it out. I just listen for a buzzer when this thing goes off once I start it. The next thing we're going to do we're going to go ahead and close out Stellarium for a minute and we're going to open up my PhD program so we're going to open up PhD I'm going to go over and we're going to connect all um, for the 
For you uh, Los Mundi uh, Gemini 2 users, my setup is a uh, ZWO ASI camera. The, the mount is on camera because I'm using that 200mm uh, Canon lens and the ZWO camera. So that's what I chose on this. Now we're going to go ahead and connect all. And I'm now connected. And give me a moment. I'm going to go ahead and turn out the light for a minute. Because the camera is very sensitive. And we're going to go ahead and begin loop. And there's my stars. And then we're going to go up to the tools. We're going to let it auto select a star. And it's auto selected a star. And we're going to go ahead down and begin guiding. Now it goes through a couple steps while it's doing this. Um, for a uh, alignment purposes I have my this is a permanent pure telescope that I have here and I do a drift alignment rather than using any kind of polar alignment assist from any kind of computer um, I took a lot of time drift aligning this telescope and it's spot on as far as tracking you'll see here once once the guiding starts on this program but we'll give that a few minutes and uh, let it do its thing until it starts tracking we start seeing guiding lines and we'll stop for a minute while I was doing okay uh, PhD 2 is now guiding and if you as you can see by the graph I am guiding within plus or minus two arc seconds, which is phenomenal uh, when you consider how many degrees are in a circle, how many seconds, and how many arc seconds. That is a, uh, a bullseye chart, and it shows me where it's doing its tracking. And as you can see, uh, that's within plus or minus two arc seconds of my target area so that's good enough to do a picture um, on the graph you can see that the solid lines uh, that are going along the graph are the actual tracking of the mount and then the bars going up and down are the corrections being sent to the telescope so it's doing a marvelous job and we're going to go ahead and do a test picture I've got my uh, timer set up for two minutes for my first uh, test picture to make sure I've got the target where I want it in the camera. Let's go ahead and turn this little clicker on. Okay, she's on. I'm going to go ahead and turn my timer on. Gotta cover this up for a minute because it sends out way too much light and it'll interfere with my picture. So we cover this up while this is in operation. I'm gonna drop this flap. Turn the lights off. Yep. Let's turn these little turn these little things off too. Okay, here we go with the first test picture.
Now I guess it helped if I turned on the camera. Darn it. Okay. Okay, I've got my tracking set up on the PHD2 and it's tracking pretty good. Uh, I've got my timer going and when this hits two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and start a test picture. So I'm gonna be turning the lights out and we'll be watching this test picture come out and then we'll go for longer exposures on the Eagle Nebula tonight. Wish me luck. Okay, we're coming down to the mark. Go ahead and turn up the lights. We are now taking a two minute exposure. Okay, we're coming up to about 15 seconds away from time up on this two minute exposure. As you can see, the camera's working. this timer let's go over to the view and let's see what we got I don't know if you can see this on the camera let's turn out the light maybe that's the problem that's a pretty damn good picture right there let's see if it comes out on this thing yeah we got a very good picture of the Eagle Nebula so we're going to go ahead and go for a longer exposure here and uh, see what we can do. The stars look spot on in this photograph. Uh, I see a lot of hydrogen in dark areas. I'm very, very pleased with what's going on in this photograph right now. So we're going to go through uh, to a three minute exposure and see what we can pull out here. Be back in a minute. 